back at Happy Valley then on a Wednesday night for the second last meeting at the City Circuit for the season. Of course, we finish up at Chartin a week on Saturday on the 16th. Very warm welcome to the show. I'm Andrew Lejeune. Please say I'm joined here in the studio by our former analyst in Paul Alley and race caller Tom Wood as well. Tom, for a good programme, I thought. Nine races we're to look forward to. Yeah, nine races on Wednesday night. So maybe a little bit of rain. About the best of them comes up as the last. It is class two over 1,000 metres. Stoltz looking for another win, but there's a lot of pace in that final race of the night too. Mm. Yeah. Tell us about the jackpots, Paul. What have we got? 4.5 million going into the Triple Trio jackpot. So a decent uh, jackpot there for the Triple Trio. That's only one at this stage, but um, I'm sure there'll be a few coming out because it looks like really even races throughout the card. All right. As far as uh, jockeys are concerned, no Karis Teet and no Derek Long. Both sit this one out through suspension and it's Blake Shin's final meeting because he's out through suspension for the final few meetings of the season. As far as the action is uh, concerned though, very much with the uh, the trainers and jockeys uh, championship still very much uh, on the go. We start off with the uh, class five over the 1650 with TaylorMade and Good Beauty both dropping in class. TaylorMade has won both of his races in class five previously. UW Brother gets up from a thousand metres to the 1650 here. Dashing Genius up from the 12 to the 1650 comes off the all weather. Diamond Star with Start number 19 of the season. He's won twice this season already. Mr. Monty down in class as well. He should roll forward. We've got Joy Masters won four times over the mile at Sha 10. This is Charisma with the tongue tie going on after being beaten beaten favourite last time out. And C Monarch, who won on the weekend. Uh, sorry, Friday in actual fact. Garlic Hero for Dennis Ship and Matthew Chadwick jump from barrier number 12, Tom. Speed to here, UW Brother. Well, he's a 1,000 metre winner going to 16.50 for the first time as UW Brother. Uh, Mr. Monty, your C Monarch, uh, was handy enough when winning on Friday, Paul, and uh, Garlic Hero, uh, barrier 12 for him. Yeah, a little bit tricky for Garlic Hero, but yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised if UW Brother didn't lead this race, having led over the 1,000 metres and uh, 16.50 for the first time. So it should give you a good side. So um, the, the speed should be on the good side because he likes to ping along in front. OK, all right. So let's have a look at a couple of main chances. Uh, Tom, starting off with... Diamond Star. Fitness certainly won't be an issue for him. No, he's up for a start 19 of the season. He's been pretty consistent at this uh, level. He's backing up. He was widest on the turn. You'd see him really uh, making that turn wide there. And it was dashing on at the end to Paul, only beating two and a half. Look, he, he's one you always put in your wider multiples, isn't he? Because he always uh, runs on nice enough. He's been consistent all season. And uh, look, he goes in again for me. OK, so Diamond Star certainly one uh, to consider. Uh, Paul, you say UW Brothers is probably our most likely leader, but Mr Monty uh, certainly likes to be on speed as well. Yeah, he's a five-time winner, Mr Monty. So, look, he's more than capable. We know he's going to be on speed, but he's, he's just not going to have, I don't think, the speed of a 1,000-metre horse. So I thought he'd be just in behind, but he should get a nice toe into the race. So, look, he's, um, he's won over the 1650 here before. So... I'm going to put him in, uh, just on a minor line. Yeah, it was a bit of effort there last uh, time. You could just see him peeking on his uh, run. He, he's not getting any younger, though. He's an eight-year-old, um, rising nine, so I've left him out. OK. Just going, cast our mind back to Friday, Tom, to see C. Monarch winning in uh, really soft conditions um, there. That was 1,400 metres back up to the 1650 here. Yeah, not that keen, to be honest. Uh, course and distance, uh, one placing from a couple of runs. Hasn't done much at Happy Valley. One win overall from 18. Backing it up, no. Not for me. No, I'm with you there, Tom. Look, and look, he's not going to. Well, you wouldn't have thought he'd get conditions like this. <laughs> this is the first track we've had like this since 2010. So, look, he, he made the most of it and he, he did win nicely. But, um, yeah, not coming back after this run, not for me. It looked like he was lugging off the track a bit there late, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have included in my top four because I'd included him previously as well, but um, only for a, a minor placing. Uh, this horse, uh, though, Tom. I think could be looking at a major placing, tailor-made. Yeah, I think so. Uh, course and distance, he's had uh, four starts for two uh, second placings. You can see him uh, running into backside see, here last time out. This was over 1,200 metres. Takes the drop in grade here, up and trip. When he's won in the past, uh, he's won at uh, decent enough odds. I think you get an OK price around him here. Paul, um, tailor-made. Yeah, he's, I've got him on top as well. Up, the, up that extra 450 metres looks absolutely ideal. All right, so Taylor made our early favourite. Paul, I think we're all tipping him as well. Pretty open, though, the, mm. the first event here, the class yeah, five. Yeah, definitely, yes. Look, yeah, but you're right. I've got him on top, Taylor made. He had a, fl a flashing red light on his uh, head after that last start. So he's on top. Uh, this is Charisma, still a maiden here in Hong Kong, but he's consistent. Tongue tie going on, interestingly enough, for his first time in 22 starts. Uh, Diamond Star, we talked about, is consistent in the old boy Master Montara. Uh, Ma Master, Mr. Monty, even. Mr. Monty goes in for fourth. Different horse, Master Montaro. Mr. Monty for fourth. One, ten, five, and six in race one. 
I know he's one of your favourites, uh, Master Montari. <laughs> running at the weekend. Uh, Taylor made to number one goes on top. As confident as you can be in class of five. Uh, big run last time out, considering he was held up. Diamond Star's consistent. This is Charisma. Maybe didn't enjoy the track conditions last uh, time out when favourite. And uh, Garlic Hero uh, goes. And he followed uh, This is Charisma into the race and wasn't beaten overly far. So 1, 5, 10 and 12. Yeah, we've all got the one five ten in the numbers. Uh, Taylor May goes on top for me as well, to be ridden by Joe Murray. Of course, that would bring him level in the Jockeys' Championship were he to win. So that's the opening event, Class 5, over the 16.50.